Hello again everyone. As promised, I'm now going to continue our math tutorial. Last time, we have started with addition of integers. Let's have a little recall. In adding integers, there is a need to consider the signs of the numbers added. So when we see that they are like signed, we have only to add the numbers. However, that you have to affix their common signs to the result. While in adding unlike signed numbers, the first thing we are doing is we disregard the signs. Then we subtract the number considered is smaller from the number considered larger. Then affix the sign of the number considered larger to the final answer. Take note, it's very important to memorize the rule. So when you are asked again to perform addition of integers knowing the rule, then it won't be very difficult for us to be looking for the answers. Now, to continue, we are now to take subtraction of integers. Once more, I am going to ask you, see very well, what we are doing with the numbers, especially on the changes of the numbers, because I will ask you again to formulate a rule of which you can follow. It must be your own rule, so you can easily follow. But if you wish also to be taking down notes of, of the things that I'm saying, it's all right. So we are now to start with our examples. So let us take now examples on the subtraction of integers. Once more, please take note of the changes that uh, is done. So you can easily formulate a rule for you to follow in subtracting integers. Number 1, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. But in number 2, we have 5 minus a negative 3. By the way, in subtraction, the number being subtracted is called the subtrahend, and we are removing it from the minuend. So this will become 5 plus 3 and the result is equal to 8. What happened? Do you see changes in our given operation? The given we have negative 3 it becomes positive 3 and the operation subtraction becomes addition. Let us take another one. We have negative 5 that will become plus a negative 3. What happened to our subtrahend? It becomes from positive, it becomes negative, and the operation subtraction becomes addition. We have now addition of like sign numbers. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. We affix their common sign. Then number 4, we have now negative 5 plus 3. What are the changes? The subtrahend given is negative. It has been changed into positive. Then the operation subtraction becomes addition. We have now addition of unlike signed numbers. We remove the smaller number from the bigger, so 5 minus. 3 is equal to 2, but the sign of the number considered larger is negative. 
therefore we have negative 2 for the final result. So if you are to formulate a rule for you to follow in subtracting integers, what should it be? I hope it's similar now to this. So very clear that when you are going to subtract integers, the thing that we are doing is simply to add the opposite of the subtrahend to the minwind. Can you see that? I hope you have a similar, you have formulated similar rule. Thus, if we are now to apply adding the opposite of the subtrahend to the minwind, we will have in here 6. We add the opposite. So what is the opposite of 9? It's equal to negative 9. Brings us to addition of unlike. We disregard the sign. We subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. But the sign of 9 considered larger is negative. Therefore, our answer is negative 3. Next, 8. We add the opposite of the subtrahend. So, given negative 5, the opposite is 5. Thus, the final result is 8 plus 5, giving us an answer of 13. Next, negative 4. We add the opposite of the subtrahend. The subtrahend 7 is positive. It will become negative. What are we adding? Like signed numbers. So 4 plus 7 is equal to 11 and a fixed their common sign to the result. Finally, negative 10 plus the opposite of the subtrahend, which is 3. Addition of unlike will mean you subtract the smaller number from the bigger number regardless of their sign. So 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. But the sign of the number considered larger is negative. Therefore, our answer is negative. So hope... These are things you will remember when you are subtracting integers to add the opposite of the subtrahend to the minwind. I hope you have learned again something this time. So thank you for studying subtraction of integers with me. Till next time!